Good evening, everybody. It is Patsy from Patsy's Crochet. I told you I'd come back on tonight and show you some of my whips that currently I am doing. Okay, um, first whip. Um, I got some beautiful yarns from Heather from Heather's Knits and Crochet Nook. And some of them were um, the Hipster Cotton, which I love. Um, I have three other colors in my cupboard of Hipster Cotton from mary max when i went for my birthday last year that i have not used yet and actually i cracked into one of them and then i got the stuff that uh the ones that heather gave me now um i decided to make a cotton blanket out of a c2c which is one of my favorite blankets to make with all the different colors so this one right now i'm working on is melon berry um it's premier yarns a lightweight number three machine wash on warm tumble dry um 229 yards 100 percent cotton so it's it's beautiful stuff really soft i like it so i've been working i should get a stitch marker i always do this and then i lose my spot that's okay there we go so I've been doing different ones. So this one right here to about right here is the Hipster Cotton Desert Sky. And then from here to I think the dark purple. No. Nope. Yep. this first line because I'm just starting on this ball now so from there to here I used um, okay so the first one was Des Desert Sky I should have brought in the other bands I'm so sorry Desert Sky <clears throat> forget that ball band I am so sorry but I decided to make a C2C cotton blanket with all the hipster yarn that I have. So that might take me a little while. I think it's beautiful and it's gonna be nice and comfy because on a hot days, who wants something hot like a hot thick blanket on, right? So that is one of the projects that I'm working on. I just started this one. So that could take a little while. Um, then I'm working on, let's see, this, this one beautiful 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 now this is the yarn if you guys can remember that um, I ordered from Pam Savoy from stitchnaturally.com um, it's adorable and it's beautiful colors of purples and it's a fine number one no it's not a fine number one sorry let me see where it is the color is blackberry pie which it's beautiful. There's no black in it, but it's just called. Um, it's a fingering weight. Super fine number one. And there is over, okay, 250 grams made in Turkey. Super soft. A thousand meters. So I don't know what that is for yardage. I have one day have to check into all this yardage stuff. But it goes from, I don't want to lose that one either, goes from the darker purple, darker purple, to the mid purple, to the light purple. So hopefully you guys can see that. So you got light, medium, and dark. So it looks really nice. I call it all lavender colors. <laughs> very nice so so far that's how much i got done on this shawl it's for a special friend of mine so once it's done i'll wash and pin it and then send it off so that is really beautiful and i am using since it's a fine number one it says the crochet hook that i'm using is actually a four millimeter a number G from Clover. So 
So this is really beautiful and delicate. So she can wear it to um, going out, dinners, movies, walk on the beach, wherever. Sitting at home, sitting on the porch. So that is that one. So this one is almost done. Almost done. Almost got a thousand meters done. And I got one more cake and it's a pink one. And I'm going to do one uh, pink one for um, myself. <laughs> so that is number two project. Actually, no. The C2C blanket, the cotton one, is my fourth project. That's my third project that I was doing, that I showed you. Um, my second project, oh no, this way is it, sorry, I got that wrong. Sorry. This one is my second project. This is my first one, and this is what I got left of the one of the croquettes. It's from Mary Maxim, the April monthly club that I got, and it's that pineapple Lacy pineapple shawl is beautiful. So this is one, two. I already used three. Or actually, this is my third one. Almost done. And I got to do one more cake of that. Then it'd be all done. So, what did I do here? I got something mixed up here. There we go. And that's what I got left of one of them. It wasn't enough to do... A whole roll because you have to do the pineapple stitch so this is I believe I showed this before but this is the progress it's the find number one and it's the one for Mary Maxim so it starts off you can see where all my stitch markers that I counted each row <laughs> counted my stitches at the end so I'm just starting on, so if you think about it, that's one, two, three, four. I'm just starting the fifth pineapple up. It's gonna, it's a very delicate number one, and I can't believe that I'm using actually a fine number one. And it's going really good. I love the details and the colors. The colors are amazing on this yarn. And the pineapple stand out really nice. I just couldn't, I can't put it all in, so I have to do it this way for you. So, this one takes a little bit more time because it's a fine number one. I should have been done it by now, but I wanted to start something out. <laughs> so, this one is going to be almost done. If I work on it, and just work on this alone it'll only take me less than a week or less than a week to get done but i have other ones too you know because that's the way we do it <laughs> so i just need to do one more cake and then that will be done and there's 239 yards in each croquette so i got one more to do and i'm using a 2.75 millimeter clover on this one So that is getting done and then I started this project I did it with a, a thicker weight of cotton um, it's the same as that but it, I'm making it, it as a top so and I'm using you know, that beautiful yarn that Heather um, that I bought off of Heather is drops Paris it's 100% cotton. Um, yeah, so I have one, two, three, and I'm working on the fourth ball now. So that's pretty good. I'm almost done. I got, and it's, it's just a nice lightweight. Like, it, it does look bigger than what I am, but I like it loose, a loose top. You know, it's just a cover-up. So, I got this rest of this pineapple due here. And then, 
the one side to be done. So that's what it's looking like. It looks really thick, but it look it looks just like the one that I'm doing, but bigger, bigger stitches. I think it looks beautiful in this cotton. So once this side is done, uh, the other side I'm not doing pineapple because I don't have enough of the blue cotton left. So what I'm going to do is I got enough in there to do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm doing the fifth pineapple now. Then I have to do uh, the back is just going to be either a double crochet, skip one, double crochet, something like that. I haven't figured that part yet. But I did. I thought the front could be the nice, pretty pineapple, and then the back would be just a nice, regular, either triple crochet or double crochet. And I thought that we'll do. Um, I'll do a tutorial on this, so you'll have a, another beautiful wearable to use. Um, now I like this is created from Mary Max and the shawl, but I just took it and measured the chest size of me <laughs> it's a 2x so i did only 90 stitches so that's pretty good so i will teach you how to do that i hope you don't mind but i thought we'll do that as a tutorial i want to do that for you as a tutorial and hopefully someone will do one and then show me on my facebook page that'd be awesome um but this pattern is a keeper it's a nice pattern. I love pineapple stitch. So, like I said, I'm working on a fourth ball. And then I'll do the back. And then do um, a side siding. I haven't decided yet which one. But that's those three projects that I am doing. And the fourth one is the double crochet. Uh, C2C, sorry. Oh, that is what I've been working on. So I have two shawls, one sh one top and one blanket. <laughs> and slowly getting done all of them. And I want to get the top done um, so I can do um, a tutorial for you. Something new on my channel that I haven't done. It was a pineapple stitch. And this is beautiful. So I hope that you guys don't mind. And I hope that you guys will like it and maybe do one and then show me on my facebook group that um you did one that'd be awesome i really like to see someone do something that i've created like that baby dress or one of my projects that i did um that'd be awesome and i see that um i have some more subscribers i like that thank you so much i appreciate everyone that joined my channel um i can ask for no more than what i have i appreciate it thank you so much to everyone and to my new subscribers thank you for joining um i'm hoping that i can um give you some pointers on yarn and hooks i do yarn and hook reviews um and i try to do some tutorials I am just getting back into the swing of it. Um, I haven't been on for a while. That um word seems to come up a lot, eh? <laughs> so, I hope that I can teach beginners um, what they need to know and what they want to learn. And yarn and hook reviews are very good for that. Um, it teaches them about every kind of hooks, or not every kind, but most of the hooks, some of the hooks. Um, that I have and some of the, most of some of the yarns that I have I don't have a lot well I do have a lot of yarn but um, I wouldn't mind having some little Hobby Lobby yarn they're having a big sale you know it this to me I think Hobby Lobby should let Canada order from there and ship to Canada because they would make a killing from Canada they would I didn't mean bad word for killing, but I meant didn't make awesome, awesome money uh, from Canada because we want some of their yarn. And especially when they have sales like this, it would be great. And they would make, they would, they would make a lot of money 
from us Canadians. Um, Joanne's did. They finally did it, doing it. But, you know, we can't order some of the yarn from Joanne's because it says Joanne's only. Um, but it'd be nice to get some Hobby Lobby yarn. Us Canadians would love that. It'd be awesome. So that's all I've been doing. And sitting here playing with my kitty kitty, Charlie. He's getting big. He turns a year old at the end of August. So, but like my friend, uh, my girlfriend, Cynthia, she said, Charlie's a menace. <laughs> we should have named him Dennis the Menace, but it's Charlie, Charlie the Menace. <laughs> he likes to chew up a lot of yarn. Um, I've never had that with a cat before. I had a cat that loved to play with the yarn, but never chewed it. Um, he wrecked already for my blankets that I have created, and I had to throw them out. I've been locking up my yarn now. In bags and putting them away in my craft room because if I don't Charlie the menace comes and gets it I don't know what it is I had lots of cats that never chewed up stuff I had cats that knee a lot and suckle but never chewed it apart and actually swallowed I had to phone the vet and they said just you know be careful because it can get twisted in his intestines and I don't want that happening so so far he hasn't been getting at my yarn anymore because I won't allow him in that room uh, maybe once he's four or five years old or something like that then maybe but right now as the baby and him growing up no no more I can't take a chance on that happening to him I love Charlie he's my Charlie boy and we all spoil our animals just like spoiling kids. But they always want something that we have. They don't want their toys. They want other things. But I've never, honest to God, seen a cat chew and chew at yarn. And break uh, break anything. Like, sorry, not break, but wreck blankets and nothing like that. And I had lots of cats growing up. I had lots of cats when my kids were little. And they'd never done that. I remember, you know, if you roll a ball, ball of yarn or whatever, they would catch it. Yes. And but I would make them their own little uh, yarn ball. And they would leave my stuff alone. But not Charlie. He, no, 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 no. He's, uh, he's a menace. <laughs> but I love him. So... Um, what else? So I'm going to try to put out some more videos. Like I said, I just had to take some time for myself. And family gets, family life comes first, right? So I, I, I'm doing a lot. Well, not doing a lot, but. I'm going to the gym too. Me and my daughter, Katie, are doing the gym. She lost weight. I'm still at the same weight. <laughs> I don't know. But having fun. Just relaxing sometimes, watching TV or I haven't been crocheting for the last couple of days. I will let you know. This is the first time in a couple of days I've been crocheting. Um I got a new bought a new bin with a lid for all my pattern books. And magazines because uh, I'm tired of the cardboard boxes so I went and got a long container and yesterday I put all my patterns from crochet world crochet magazine now with simply crochet all them in the books that I bought and off Amazon um, I put them all in a tote now and the written patterns and other patterns that I get offline or from friends sending it to me, 
I put it in the small a small box for right now. But it's getting organized in there now. It's really it's going good. I just have to clean out the white one now and restock all that stuff in there properly and um, restock all my Stallcraft Special DK yarn. And that's about it. So, hopefully tomorrow night, hopefully tomorrow night, um, I'll do a tutorial for you. But I hope that you like that tutorial that I was thinking about doing because it, it's really fun. Like, you don't have to use a number four cotton for the pineapples unless you like a thick pineapple. I like um, the dainty one, the number ones, but I don't know if I can do it in number ones for you. So, I'm going to do it probably in a number three. Wait. In a three weight yarn cotton or am I might do it in a two weight I haven't decided yet but I'll decide that tomorrow so hopefully tomorrow there will be a tutorial out if not tomorrow hopefully by the weekend okay I will do that and I hope that someone does a project like that that'd be nice to see it on my YouTube page or on my um Facebook page. That'd be so awesome. See, I like CTC blankets. That you can whip them up fast. Before you know it, this ball of yarn will be all done. But I just wanted to come on and show you some of the projects. Well, the projects that I'm doing. And... Hopefully I'll be back on tomorrow, like I said, or by the weekend with a tutorial for you. I just have to come up with new things to talk about. <laughs> so I hope um, your summer is going good. Um, or spring, whatever you want to call this. Um, the kids should be getting off school soon here. And then it starts summer holidays. So that's all I'm going to do. Sit here and do some crocheting. I do a little bit of each thing a night. Um, I might work on the, the small one tonight. The number ones. <laughs> if I can concentrate on it. Okay, so you guys have a great night great day great afternoon wherever you are in this this world um god bless you all i love you stay safe okay bye for now